Hey YouTube. Um, this is the phase one, or yep, I would say this is the phase one of official GNET data center. Um, time to uh, pretty much disassemble this rack and get to move everything that's here nicely into here. So I will get, walk you guys through it. We will be doing it together, so you guys can uh, watch the progress and everything that you see here will be actually moved in there so a lot of wire management is built inside that rack um, a lot of it will be cleaned up and I mean for what I need this rack I mean this one's really tall I mean it's a 48U uh, is it 40? yep 40 oh no sorry I know 43, 44 it's a 44U well you don't count the top ones but it stops at 43 but this rack is literally too much. I mean, it's nice and everything, but it's too much for when I need it. And a 24U is nice and perfect. And it lets me do much more things as this one will. This one, I will probably be put up on a Craigslist sale. Because I will not be shipping this since these are like iron or cast iron. Uh, four post uh, APC net shelter rack. I'm not going to be shipping it. So it's going to be a local sale. I know these go for like around six, seven hundred bucks on Amazon or something like that, but locally I'm going to sell it for like two, three hundred dollars approximately. Um, with the shelves, if I do sell it, probably around four hundred, five hundred. The shelves did cost me quite a bit. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and you guys will see the progress. So right now we are firing down all the VMs. As you can see, they are shutting down. There's some still probably shutting down. No, looks like most of them already went through. Let's get just power off it since they didn't want to peacefully shut down. This this one right here, always, always, always shut down the vCenter via console. Do not kill it. I know some VMs you can kill, some you can't. This one always shut it down or you will regret it reason is because of the database and um, vCenter is all written in Java oh, I shut down so since this is on solid states it is there you go, it's on that server right there I take out the chassis just for airflow. It's shutting down. I'm gonna take off all these. Let's put it right there. There we go. Still shutting down. So while they're shutting down, it's a little dusty. It's been a while since I took those covers on. So the first step is to take all the servers down. And then from there, we turn off the networking sides and unplug the edge router and the 5448 and uh, dismantle all the wiring, put all the wires in a pile. I'm not going to be going to go through them and, take, and put them up nicely because I'm going to reuse them in there. Um, VMware is still shutting down. I do. I think forever. But um, yes, it's on this server right here. This little Ben Boy R610 is actually just for all the VMware software, um, appliances, vCenter, vRealize, and uh, NSX is not on that one. NSX is actually running on this one because I want to play with it. But um, yeah, so at this point we are shutting down the VMs. All of them, but just two are turned off. And after that, we will power down the SAN. Let's power down the... Oh, we're dead. Okay. So another important thing is to power down the free NAS properly. Um, I already did some updates today. So let's see if I need to do a reboot. If I don't, I'm just going to shut it down. But either way, I'm just going to shut it down because I'm not worried about reboots. Okay, I'm not going to wait for it. 
Let's do shut down, shut down. And now we're gonna go to each ESXi host. I wish I had a KVM for this, it'd be so much nicer. Darn cable. There's that. We're gonna sh shut her down. There we go, F12. No, not F12, sorry. F2. Ugh. F2. F12. I want to shut it down. This keyboard and typing with one hand. There we go. Shut down in progress. Now, the next host. I like to always shut down my host properly because I'm in production. Don't want any uh, corruption. I don't risk it. There we go. Why aren't you being cooperative? F12, shut down. Every time I hit F12, it goes darn. Configuration. And the last host, which is the vCenter on there, it's already shut down. Darn keyboard. Someone's in on key spaces, so you just can't get it to work. So, jeez. That. Need a wireless keyboard pretty soon, but no. Next purchase is a KVM. So if you guys are wondering, you're laughing at me plugging these cables, but you know what? F it. And F12. Shut. No! F12 is shut down, not the menu. F12. So dumb, I don't know why it does that. There we go, F2. Okay. That's shut down, that's shut down. So they're all turned off, and now I'm just going to turn off the last one. Which is my backup server. It's the one that runs Veeam on there, and does all the backups of the whole data center. Including the house network too. There we go, that's an easy one to shut down. Windows server. Just done faster than anything else. Um, this one seems to be still on. Come on, turn on, turn it off. So this should be off in a second. So now we will fire down the whole network, even the lights. Jesus, bro, blew a fuse. No, I'm kidding. I just have an LED lamp above me. Um. Yeah, so everything's fired down except these two still on servers. Um, so the next step, I'll bring you guys with me. Okay, guys. Um, there's the whole networking side of GNet Data Center. We got a 6248, 6248P, 5448, which is a nice SCSI switch, and Edge Router Pro, which is 2 million plus packets that are 64 byte. And uh, yeah, so we got everything. This is mental. Oh boy, look at that. It just looks like a, a blade center, if you think about it. Um, sitting on a bucket, yeah, it make it look so unstable, but it's actually, the bucket has a like, concrete in the bottom of it, so it's not going anywhere. Um, rack is disassembled. Cables everywhere, disaster. Um, it took me around 45 minutes just to remove everything. Um, next step is to clean everything up, turn off the... Honestly, if you guys can hear how quiet it is, um, the loudest thing right now is a darn fan in there. Okay, um, got my goodies bag as well, that stuff. 
Looks like a disaster, yes, I know. So, rack's in. That rack is out. Out with the old, in with the new. Um, got all the rails out, all the U UPS battery backups, cables, uh, patch panel. Yeah, that's hanging. One of the wires pulled out. Oh, that's okay, I'll have to redo it. Before I, cause I have to feed them through the holes. So, I'll have to redo that. There are the switches in the behind of them. Um, yeah, stay tuned. There we go. Um, got most of the rails, the racks mounted and stuff like that. Um, there's the R610 already, Ubiquiti. I got these rails temporary for now. UPS is already nice and mounted nicely, bolted in. Um, next is to put a few other things and stuff like that, the switches and all the other goody stuff. So now we are uh, firing up most of the stuff just to slowly fire it up. Have to kill all the UPSs. Um, everything's booting up. It's nice and clean and organized. You guys can see. Still gotta put the panels on and all the wiring. Put a cooling fan to uh, take the heat out from the whole rack when it's sealed up. So it's gonna cool it really well. Um, there's the SAN backup server. Uh, GNET host ESXi 2 and then GNET EXS host 1. These two are gonna have 98 gigabytes of RAM, so now 16 and 32. And there is our vCenter server, which I have to fire up in a few minutes. But, um, yeah, that's for this right now, and uh, I will get back to you guys. Finally, everything is up and running. All servers are powered on. Um, took a long time. Let's say three and a half hours of uh, setting it up and cleaning, and cleaning up the servers and all that. I still got to zip tie most of the stuff, but most of it it has actually been finished. No, I'm just actually have one issue with one of my hosts. It's wanting me to format my uh, my LUN, my SCSI. Sam and I'm trying to fix that. But other than that, the other host is taking over and doing all the work. But um give you guys a sneak peek. How are we gonna set up? Fairly clean. There we have the head router. 5448. 5248. Non PoE, the PoE version right there. Um, yeah, got my uh, Comcast business modem up here. Got a wipe system back online. I just put my clunky monitor back online. Online, back on top. But yeah, um, stay tuned for some final pictures. Um, if you guys have it, go. Uh, like my Facebook page for GNET Data Center. Um, I'll be posting more pictures and more information there daily, usually weekly sometimes. But uh, yeah, thanks again. Like, subscribe, share the video.